Well, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Monique's Jewels. I'm hoping everybody's having a wonderful afternoon. It is hot. I mean, it is really warm here. It's almost 90 degrees. It's just amazing. It can go from dreary and cool to two days later, as hot as can be. So that's what our weather's like today. Um, how are you guys doing? I'm hoping this... <clears throat> day sees you all healthy and happy and I thought I'd come on this afternoon and do a video jewelry as a matter of fact sterling jewelry um I am a bit um I don't know what you would call it I think I need to take my claritin <laughs> so I'm a little raspy but I think um I'll be able to do this video just fine and I'll put this stuff back up out of the way so it won't be in my way. And I'm just going to just jump right in here and get started. Now, some of these pieces you may have seen before. Some of these might be new. Anyway, I'm going to price them to sell. And I'm hoping everybody will enjoy each and every piece that I show you today. So I'm going to start and do it kind of in a clockwise. So I'm going to start up here. I hope the lighting is good. I hope you hearing me correctly i don't know what that is about the volume and so i'm hoping that this um video will be a lot better than the last one I'm not like i said i don't know what's going on so we're just going to try it out see how everything turns out if you'd like to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i would so appreciate it we're still working on getting up to a thousand subscribers this year. I'm hoping it happens. Um, I'm also happy to say that I got those two purses cleaned and I mean, they look really, really nice. So I will probably show those to you Thursday. Yeah, I think maybe Thursday or Wednesday. Um, if I ever get that American America's Thrift bag of jewelry i will definitely open it with you guys and let you guys come along for the joy of seeing what is in it but it hasn't even shipped yet so i purchased it on the 10th a shipper was made for it on the 13th and that's the end of the trail for uh, fedex so i did email them and send them the fact that the shipper um, the tracking number shows that it has not even left the area. It has not even gone to FedEx. No one's picked it up. So I'm hoping they will get that taken care of soon. I hope this doesn't happen to anyone else. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a pair of the most gorgeous Marcosite earrings I think I've ever seen. I, I don't know. I don't know how old these pieces are. The set is. It is gorgeous. It gives off kind of a gold tone, silver tone. It's like, yeah, it morphs. It's kind of a gold silver. Um, a very elegant setting. Very nice backs on it. Um, let's see if I can show you a little closer on the back. I think the only thing that's on this... Let's see here. I'm not sure what it says. If it says, oh, well, it's just saying 925. Very, very pretty though. Let's set that over to the side. Yeah, these are gorgeous. So I'm going to put 22 on these. They're worth every penny. They're worth a lot more. All the little marcasites are there, which is amazing. But these right here, I don't know. They're just different and beautiful. Okay. So the measurement on these are about two and a quarter inches. These are spectacular, guys. Look how pretty. Okay. So I'll put those over to the side. Next, we have a set. It's a faux pearl. But it's still very elegant. Very, very elegant. Now, this could be put on a much, much larger chain. 
This is just the one, and it's vintage, and it's sterling. It's very pretty. It's just the one it came on. This could go on a Torque, uh, an Omega, a nice snake chain, a box chain. And these are the earrings. They have the clip. They're very, very nicely made. I'm not sure of the maker, but we do have a jewelry mark on here. I don't know if it's on this side or the other. Let me look real quick, guys. I think, yeah, it's very hard to see. It says Italy, I-T-A-L-Y. It actually spells it out. And on the back, it's S925, so that's fabulous. So it's like S925 there. And Italy. It's kind of hard to show you. There you go. In Italy. So this is a pretty little three piece set. And I'm going to sell it for $30. And this has the little marker sites around the edge. Very, very pretty. Sterling, but this is faux, but this is a beautiful bead. All the beads are not, none of them are scratched. That's why I couldn't believe they weren't real pearls because they're just so pretty. Okay, so that is lovely. Okay, next let's do this. Kind of on the line of pearls. These are some beautiful little, um, these are not Baroque. These are actually almost like a coin pearl. Flat on the back, kind of rounded on the front. A very pretty ivory white color with some pinkish fluorescence. I see a little pink, a little purplish hue to these. Just beautiful. This is sterling, 925. I don't know if this one's marked. I don't remember. I know that I did test this though, and it came up as sterling. And like I said, I'm not sure. I don't remember if it's marked. So we're going to look real quick. No, but it was definitely tested. So it's got a nice toggle that lays nice and flat with the beautiful little heart. So it would lay like that or like this either way. I think that's, yeah, I think this way would look better. Okay, let's do a measurement real quick. This is very pretty. Very nice for the summer, summertime piece, more or less. So we'll go right to the end of the heart here. So this is exactly seven and a half. So it's beautiful. So I think I'll do 15 on this. Okay, set that over to the side. Okay, next we have some Topaz, light blue topaz, beautiful. Studs, very nice. They look to be about, what would you say that would be? That's a Lisa carrot, I would say. Very pretty. Very nice backs. A prong setting that's higher up. This one has the piece there so it would either set on your ear just like that and kind of hang a little bit or you could flip it up to be higher up on the ear and these are very nice and these are marked these are marked Let's see here Oh, I'm off. Look at that. So it's definitely 925. And it's probably a maker's mark right there. I'm not real sure what it is. It's definitely 925. And I think these are sterling earbags, ear jackets, or 
backs. Most likely. Oh, it's a it's a sunflower. Is exactly what that is. Let's see if I can get you guys to see it. Let's focus, focus. There you go, sunflower. Just beautiful. Sorry, I had to hit it to get it to focus. Isn't that weird? Okay. Very pretty. So for these topaz, I'm gonna put 14. Very very pretty. Light blue. So let's set. This. Where'd I put the others? Let's set these over here. Next, we have some onyx earrings. They're just gorgeous. Look at the markings on this. The swirl pattern is so pretty. And these are... I'm not sure. Hold on here. Let me see if these are marked. Yes, they are. They're just very, very hard to see. Let's see. I'm not sure if you can see it on this one. Some of these older earrings, there will only be a mark on one. Oh, it's down here. And it might be on both of them. Hold on here. 925 and... What might be a cartouche or something down there. I'm not positive. It's kind of embellished in with the with that kind of nugget design on the back. But it's 925 is right in there. <laughs> it's so hard to see. Mm. Okay, let's go back out. It's very nice though. So they are super cute. Pretty little things. These are most likely vintage and could very well be from Mexico. That's what I'm thinking. They are articulated with a nice little joint there. They're very, very sweet. Let's see. These are less than an inch and they're about a quarter of an inch circle. And let's put, let's see, oh my God, and let's put um, 16 on these. Okay, so now, I don't understand what in the world has gone on. Hold still. Can you hear that? Can you hear the baby? He is back there just cutting up. Well. <laughs> Let me see if I can get this in. It's had low battery. I don't know why. I haven't really used my phone very much today. There we go. Okay, let's see what happens. Anyway, let's get on to the next thing. Okay, we have some little cuties here. These are actually um, quartz crystals that are kind of faceted. Look how pretty those are. Sterling bags, I mean hooks, <laughs> sterling bags. Hooks. These are pretty and wire wrapped. These are just too cute. Very, very sweet. So let's go ahead and put play them there so you can see them. Let's go ahead and put um, let's put 12 on those. Those are too sweet. Um, let's do something different for a minute here. Let's go to, I have some Vermeil that is absolutely gorgeous. I'll take it out of the box. Okay, there's that. Okay, so what we have here 
is a brand called Diadema. It's Italian sterling, but it's also vermeil, which is gold over with this wheat braided wheat design here and this pretty little just push down. It's very, very nice. This is approximately, I would say this is very easy to get on. I would say this is about a seven and a quarter, but it's really, really pretty. Here's Diadema bracelet, sterling with vermeil. Let's see if I can show you where it says Diadema. Let me look real quick here. I know it's kind of a weird spot. It is somewhere here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. So it is marked. I wish I didn't have that glare from the light above. Okay, where is it? There it is. Okay, so that is the mark. Let's see if I can just do it this way. There we go. And that is diadema. It's like in script or in cursive. Nine two five. It's beautiful, guys. Push it back out. So about seven and a quarter, and I'm gonna put thirty on this. I don't remember exactly, but I don't think I saw anything under fifty dollars. Okay, I have a set of earrings I'm going to sell together. Um, these are both Vermeil. This is a tiny CZ set here. And the hoops, I thought it could be a hoop and a little um, gold. Look how pretty these are. And this is just darling. This goes on and that it stays just like that. It just snaps in there. You hear it snap? These are so cool. So these are sterling vermeil. They are tiny, but I thought that that would just be such a good combination with these hoops. So you would have the hoop and then you'd have the stone or the stone and then the hoop, however you want it. I paid a little bit for the hoops. They are darling. Let me see. These are also diadema. And like I said, very reputable company. Italian. The name diadema is right there. 925, beautiful, well-made hoop that is approximately an inch and a quarter circle. So I'm going to put the diadema hoops. Aren't those, the gold color on these are gorgeous. And these right here. Those beauties. So I'm going to put this set at 25. Okay. And it also comes with these backs here. Okay. Let me put these back in here real quick. How has your day been, everybody? I hope it has been quiet. But resourceful. See, I put those together just like that. Set that over here. Um, I'm winding down. We are finally getting to the point where 
school is almost out and we're just all kind of excited for summer is my favorite time anyway so okay we have a box chain here very pretty gold tone this is let me see if this is marked is it marked on this uh, it is marked Italy it's marked Italy right there And then, I don't know if this has a company name or not. S925, sorry. S925. Right there. I just thought it was a very pretty gold tone, venti, I mean, a uh, vermeil, sterling. But look at that color. I don't know. It's just a very rich gold color. Then we have Carolyn Pollock. Okay, this is the family pendant that she has designed. This is another one that's marked with the Relios, which is another part of there with the R and the C. It is another part of the pieces that they make. Vintage. It is a beautiful set. Let's see if I can get you to see it better. Yep. The crescent and the R is for Relios, which I guess means mint. 925. This is a beautiful piece. And I even added the chain um, at my own cost. I did not, you know, I didn't want to sell it without it because I just thought it makes a big difference. Someone might not like the rope they might i mean the box they might want to put it on a rope or something but this is absolutely beautiful and this set is 40. this pendant and necklace is 40 dollars. you can look this pendant up all day long so it's about an inch and a half and this is just beautiful so we got carol and pollock and then we have these beauties which are also vermeil. This gorgeous chain, the shine on this is so pretty. Okay, let me see. I can't tell, I need to clean these backs. But these are also diadema. These are diademas. This little beauty, kind of a little tassel chain, is gorgeous. It's like a, a really, really thin, hold on here, box chain. Not thin, tightly woven. If I can show you what it looks like. It's just too cool. So let me come back out a little bit. Um, there we go. And I'll lay them down. They are long. They are approximately one, two, three, four, four and a half inches. These would just shine up and light up an outfit. A gold tone, you know, a gold chain. Um, these are beautiful. So I'm gonna put 18 on these. Vermeil, sterling diadema earrings and so are the ho hoops those are all vermeil which is gold over sterling okay next i have these little what i call drops these are like sterling drops just a drop of molten sterling these are not um these are tarnished but they are just in fabulous shape you see these all the time and they'll be all bent up and look horrible but these are very very pretty you just need a little and it's a solid piece of sterling they just need to be um wiped down with the rag little um 
jewelry polishing cloth. I don't know if this is, hold on here. Yeah. The 95 is right here. <laughs> it's really tiny. It's right there. So let me see if I can get you to see it a little better. There we go. 925 is right there. And like I said, it's one solid piece. So I've seen these before. I've seen them for sale. Let's don't do that. Okay. And um, they're very pretty. They are right at almost an inch and a half. And we'll put 16 on those. Okay, moving right along. Next, I have some Moonstone. Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Let me see if I can brighten it up a bit, guys. Yeah, there we go. We have Peridot, Sterling, and this beautiful Moonstone with the big blue um, shimmer or shiller is what they call it. I don't know if I got it too light. Hold on here. There we go. So if I move this, you'll be able to see. There it is. Isn't that cool? Beautiful purplish blue shimmer in these. In this moonstone, these are absolutely gorgeous. These are vintage. These are just in beautiful shape. Okay, I have not polished them. I have not done anything to them. And the only mark that's on these is the 925. And it's almost worn off. And it's right there. <laughs> yeah, it's very hard to see. There we go. Okay, back out a little bit so we can see them better. Beautiful little peridot here. They are approximately an inch and a quarter. No, I think they're more, uh, about an inch and a half is a little better, I think. There we go. Just beautiful pieces. So, I'm going to put 22 on these, and I'm hoping someone will like them because they are absolutely gorgeous. Okay, next, I'm going to do a pendant. This is lovely. Sterling, with the big round bale here for an Omega, a large um, snake chain. I just think it's beautiful. This would even look good on a black cord. Think about it, how neat that would be. Or even a um, like a black gunmetal um, chain. Very, very pretty. This is an older piece. It is actually marked. And it is really hard to see. It is so tiny. <laughs> It's 925 up in the corner. Right there. I told you it's hard to see. There it is. It's kind of tiny. But this is beautiful. And I think that that's an onyx. You can see the back of the stone here. It's just beautiful. So I'm going to put 28 on this one. And it is a little, uh, it's about an inch and a half. Isn't that pretty? Okay. So I have some more onyx and marcasite. And there's uh, two pairs of earrings and one of them has a necklace set. Look at the marcasites on these. Very, very pretty. And onyx. Turn them over. These are articulated also. Very nice. 
things and these are marked right above this 925 uh, I think it's SW or M something CMC something let's see if I can get it to for you to see it there we go and they do have sterling backs I'm not sure if they're the original let's back this up a little so we can see very nice but these are really pretty very very nice but got a lot of shine to them so these are approximately about an inch and a quarter and we're going to put 20 on these. These are definitely vintage. Put 20 on those. Those up here. And this is, the set is absolutely, it's stunning. I just think it's so sweet. And it is 925. And there is a mark, but you know what? <laughs> I can't tell what it is. There is letters. Let me see if we can see them. It's like right there. Hmm. I don't know. No. Well, sort of. They're definitely 925. And those are the letters right there. I just not positive. Look how pretty that is. Little onyx heart there. I'm up close enough to where you can see all the marcasites are there. And then we have the earrings that match. And these very nice hooks. Very pretty. I set them up right here for you to see. And we'll come out of it. Very nice. So these are approximately an inch and a quarter, and the pendant is about an inch and an eighth. So it's just a beautiful set. Just something you can throw on and just look just elegant and pretty. And I'll put 32 on that, that whole set. All three of them. Next, we have a cute little set of hoops. Hoop, sterling hoops with enamel design. Kind of a rainbow color of blue. And these could be, for all I know, inlaid. This might not be enamel because you see how the um, bezel setting is on these. It could be turquoise, coral, red jasper. could be... Green turquoise, lapis, more turquoise. You know, I just, I'm not positive. And they're small enough to where it just is almost impossible to tell. But they are marked. 925. And then there is a mark P something. P and S, I think is what that is. But they are solidly encased. And the thing about that, I was thinking, why would they be solidly encased like this and not hollow if they were if they were enamel? You know, and there's the mark right there. I think it's PS925. These are beautiful, well made, definitely vintage, definitely different. Almost like a little rainbow. It's just beautiful. So I'm going to put 18 on these. These would be an everyday pair. They're so pretty. Look at them from the side. It, they're just dainty and just kind of exquisite. Very neat. Very, very cool. Okay, so we'll put those over there. Okay, we have sunstone. 
which is an actual real piece of sunstone, just like that. Where'd it go? I don't know what I did with it. I put it up. No, I didn't. It's right here. Let me grab it. I'll show you what I mean by sunstone. This is sunstone. This is a little more orange. This is sunstone. And this is still for sale, guys. Nobody bought it. I restrung it on, on jewelry wire and put a 95 sterling clasp on it. And use my pretty little bead toppers there. This has got glass uh, bicone beads and this beautiful sunstone. Naturally occurring sunstone. And then I have this. This is absolutely gorgeous. That necklace can be purchased. All you have to do, and it is approximately, how long is this? It's almost 17 inches. Okay, for the sunstone necklace, I put 25. For this pendant, which is absolutely gorgeous. Sunstone in a sun setting. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love this thing. Uh, we'll put 32 on this. And like I said, the only marking on there is the 925, but it's, I have a feeling it's pretty special. And that could go on a nice bigger necklace. A torque. I think a torque would be just perfect with the, with the upright close around your neck. Yeah, this would be very neat. Okay, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. I'm going to do some. Let's see, we've already done those. I'm going to do some rings. Okay, all the rings are going to be the same price. So I'm going to show them to you and measure them. So there's number one, number two. Number three. Okay, this is marcasite and onyx. I actually found this actual ring. This is CZ and sterling. I know how much that costs. If you bought it online. This is nephrite, jade, and sterling. I haven't found one quite this interesting. Okay. And this is the Red Knight Garnet. And I found the exact ring. The exact one. And I'll measure them and then I'll give you the price. And this is a, another ring I found. The exact same ring. It's a smoky quartz. This is beautiful. Look at the work on that. Okay, so we'll go measurement. This beauty with the three Marcus marquees. Marcus says <laughs> marquees. This ring goes for about $70 on QVC and some other places. Absolutely beautiful. It is a size six and a half. All these rings are $38, $38, so that's about half price. This one here is a size seven and a half. Marcasite and opal. I mean, oh, I wish. Marcasite and onyx. Opal's one of my favorites. Just beautiful. Okay, these are all 38 this one is the nephrite jade. It is a, let's see, where's the nine? It's about nine and a quarter. Not quite nine and a half. If it was nine and a half, it'd come down a little bit. But it's very close. So we'll say nine and a quarter. Get a close-up on that. It's very, very pretty. Okay. The nephrite jade. What a beautiful purple uh, uh, garnet. 
Watch this. Beautiful. This one is a size seven and a half. Almost exactly. And the smoky, gorgeous smoky is an eight and a half. Here's the eight. Right, the cue is the half, so that's an eight and a half. So we have quite a few different sizes here. Look at that. Come on, show it. Show yourself. You are beautiful. Okay, so all five of these rings are $38. I'll move them back. And we'll do the rest. We have a very pretty, it's a triple, like, um, emerald cut and baguette ring. Absolutely gorgeous, girls and guys. It is so pretty. Look at that. This one is also, I think you can get this one on, on QVC or Home Show. I can't remember. This one is an eight and a half and it's spectacular. It's like brand new. Yes, it is very nice. Okay, so these rings are going to be 30. This one here is gorgeous oval shaped CZs in a sterling setting. The setting is, of course, bezel set. There's your mark there. All the, I think all of these are marked. And this is a nine and a half. It is really, really pretty. And it needs a little bath, I think, and it would just be even shinier. Very pretty. We have a very nice thick band, and it is amber. Let me see if I can get you. To, yeah, there it is. You can see that amber. So pretty. So this is approximately, I would say, an eight and a quarter. Eight and a half would be at the queue. So this is really sweet. It can be buffed up a little. And get real nice and shiny. But I just thought the oval cabochon was, I mean the, yeah, it's oval. Um. Amber cab cabochon is very pretty. Okay. And then we have this beauty. This thing is so cool. I looked up and tried to find one that was similar or looked exactly like it. I couldn't find one. All of them were a little different. Some of them were thicker here. Some of them were thinner as far as on these sides are fatter. It was just very strange. But this one is very nice. And it is. I'm going to say pull it up here. This is close to seven and a half. Because it's like right at the. Almost the halfway part. So I'm going to say seven and a half. And these four are 30 a piece. Very cool. Okay. Only have a few things left. I've got these. Now these are real pearls and these are gorgeous. These are absolute these are wedding earrings or bride earrings. These are beautiful. The CZs are in spectacular. Look at the settings. Look at the setting on these. It looks like a little cake. But yeah, this is beautiful. Sorry, that's nothing there. Beautiful, beautiful. And of course, the um, 
the marking is here. It's 925SW, 925RL, SWCZ. That was a mouthful. Very, very pretty. You can see the pearl, the back of the pearl through those holes. Real pearl. Real beauty. This is beauty. So we're going to put 26 on these. Look at that pearl. Well, I, I love pearls, so I'm a little bit, you know, jaded when it comes to pearls. This is so cute. I thought someone might like this. It's a little peso or something. I'm not sure, but it's a cute little pendant. No, it might not be a peso. That has a little different look to it. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So I'll put what eight dollars on that. I like that. Okay. Put that over to the side. We still have this. This is this beautiful piece. Just gorgeous. That is the inside of the cross. This is cloisonne with the rose. That is the back. Let me get it to where you guys can see it. There we go. And we know, sorry, we know it's an older piece. It's Mark Sterling. We actually have these that you can purchase. I think that they are sold. I don't know who, who would sell them, but they're sold online. These are just beautiful. This is a gorgeous popcorn chain. It is sterling, of course. Oh, it's right here. 925. Yes, it's very nice. Very well made. And it is long, you guys. This is like almost 24 inches. I don't know. It's just exquisite. Okay. So I'm going to put 35 on this. Wonderful. Very nice piece. Okay, I have two more pendants that I'd like to show. These look kind of Bali inspired. Bali. This is, look at the intricate work on this. It's very cool. It looks like onyx to me. It's definitely a stone. Beautiful. I love the work. I don't know if this is marked. No, I think this is, is it marked on the bail? Hold on here. Check it out. Now, this is probably one of the ones that I went ahead and tested. It's definitely sterling. So, we have this beauty here. And then we have this gorgeous piece. Looks like a, looks like a red chiclet, doesn't it? I do believe that's a piece of coral. Dyed coral, probably. This is marked. It is marked up in the bale part. It needs a cleaning on the inside so we can see what it says. It's PSD, I think is what. SSD or something like the. Like a SB. PSE, something like that. Let me show you. It's right in there. Right in there. There it is. There. 
So that is the mark on it. The back is, I'm sure this is vintage, if not even older. To me, it has a Mexican look to it, Mexico style of jewelry with the dots and kind of a, I like those designs. So for these two, I'm going to put 25 a piece. Very cool. Okay, we're almost there. Now you guys know I've got the QTs. I still have them. Let's mark it back out a little bit. Be look at that turquoise. Has a sawtooth design, bezel set, stone in the sterling. I have the gorgeous little pieces. This is QT is Navajo, I do believe. Quart I can't say it. Quart. Q-U-O-R-T. Quart. Um, it says QT Sterling on it. You can look it up. It is definitely a beautiful piece. QT Sterling. Fabulous piece. These are lovely. It's like conchos. It's that type of design. Very nice backs. Put that back on there. Beautiful. We'll put 30 on these. Like I said, look them up. I think you can find them. All right, we have one little pendant. That is so sweet. It is a triangle shape, almost like a, this is almost like a little Christmas tree to me, but it's got the little CZ bezel set, little sterling, just ready for a, all ready for a little chain. And the mark is back here, it's just hard to see. The mark is 925 G and H. Right there at the bottom, 925 G and H. Okay. So we will put 12 on that. It's just precious. Okay. We have this necklace here still. It has what I believe are <clears throat> ja a little bit of jasper, uh, some citrine here, and maybe even some labradorite. See, with it's got a little shiller in it. These little beads here, yeah, or moonstone, labradorite or moonstone, maybe. The company's name is. Always forget. Nakamo, 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 Nakamo. And you can look their stuff up. It is original. Is is sterling. I'll show it to you. It's sterling. It's got a little vermeil and regular sterling. This is beautiful. It is approximately 16 inches, but it has quite a really nice extender on here. So for this little necklace, I think I'm going to put 24. It's really nice, guys. And... These are some of my favorites. These are beauties. They're not hollow, but they're not, you know, full. They are probably three quarters discs of sterling. Beautiful. And then you have the little ball bead here that is so pretty. Very nice. And it says, what does it say? I don't know, but these are older. It's an older piece. This is probably one of the ones that I tested also. But these are definitely sterling. And I think the backs are also sterling. And these are like a one inch circle. So it's about one and a quarter inch beauties, and they will shine from a mile away, guys. They are not lightweight, but they are also not heavy. 
kind of medium. Beautiful. So I'm going to put 20 on these. Love them. They even sound pretty. And I do have this. I thought I was going to keep it for all my charms, but I don't need it. If I take the charms off that one that I have, I'll have one extra still. So this is a sterling charm bracelet. It is just waiting for some charms. It's beautiful. It's very nice. It's not lightweight. But it's not heavy either. It's just very well made. And it is exactly seven inches. I think. Let me make sure. I don't want to tell a fib. Now you can always put a ring on the end as, as your clasp. Note this is six and three quarters. So this is shorter. See where this comes out here? You can always add a nice big ring on the end. And make it right at seven inches. Isn't that cool? Okay. So we're going to put, let's put 15 on this. And I think the only thing that we've got left is this pretty little sterling. It's like a, it's not a clamper. But it's very pretty. Isn't that neat? And it's smaller. But it's nice because it's lightweight. Um, it comes off very easily. And so I'm going to say this is approximately six and three quarters. So it takes someone with a smaller wrist. And there's your marking. It's very pretty. It could be polished up to be very, very shiny. And we'll put 20 on that. And guess what? We've got through the sterling. We have got through all the sterling today. That's wonderful. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off of here. Like I said, I've still got a couple days left of school. It should go by very quickly. Um, tomorrow is going to be another busy day. So I'm going to bid y'all adieu. And um, if you need anything, want to talk, just you know, shoot me an email. Monique's Jewels too gmail.com in order to purchase just look in the description it will give you a detailed very detailed information on how to um, subscribe and purchase from me so don't forget my email um, if you have any comments about the video if you can hear it well finally let me know guys let me know in the comments so um, we're still waiting on the America Thrift supply box or bag. I also have the um, rest of the one. I've still got the rest of that one bag or box, I mean. And then I have the two purses I want to show you. They came out very, very nice. Okay? All right, you guys have a wonderful evening, a blessed evening. Um, you know, stay blessed, stay well. And we will talk to you guys very, very soon. If I have time, I will come on tomorrow with the rest of that one bag and the purses. And we can go from there. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button and share this video. Talk to you soon. Bye.